It's time for front pages of the papers on Breakfast Central and you are here with us. Thank you for staying. And don't forget to also follow us on all socials. We are at New Central TV on Instagram, Facebook, and you can also react to the stories by sending in your WhatsApp message because we are on WhatsApp as well. So let's start off right away with uh, the paper coming from West Africa. It's got to do with the punch. And we're looking at the punch this morning. Now the punch has quite a number of stories here. NIMC portal breaks down banks, telcos, passport issuance suffered. That's on page 31. Downtime enters sixth day. Now the telecoms company and others suspend SIM replacement as well as acquisition. Immigration may rebook passport applicants application as glitch stalls NIN verification. There's a lot going on, a lot happening right now. If you're trying to get a passport, Nigerian passport to be precise, there really seems to be a bit of a challenge. There's more on page 31 of the punch this morning white american prostitutes jailed 12 months for 57.8 million naira fraud in Quara state that's on page five you can also see this beautiful picture here oh my goodness this was all about the afcon over the weekend i mean yesterday was when they had the grand finale and a lot happened you can see this picture here it's so colorful so colorful this happened in yaoundé but there's more details in this one and it's also going you're going to get more details later in the day and also on the show much much later but you can get more details from um the punch this morning can nigeria be saved from disintegrating collectively yes we can that's where you can get that that's also on the front page and the last one here dismissed dpo fleeing kingpin arrested and the lea says it's 22 22,160 kilogram codeine in Lagos port. Page five for more details. Mm. Oluchi, right before you leave this sponge, there's one story that struck me as well. Housewife 30 stabs 18-year-old husband's nephew to death over oh, a broken, broken mirror. mirror. Right. A mirror it, it, in the house that was crazy. broken. So you stab... Oh, come on. It was stabbed from behind. These are, these, are, these are tough times. Sad stories to listen to. But anyway, let's uh, move away from uh, West Africa. Let's go straight uh, to... Uh, another another paper this morning and we'll be looking at uh, new vision in uganda so let's take a look at uganda from west we go to the east and it is in uganda parishes to get over 180 billion shillings <laughs> okay what it's about you would find out when you pick up the new vision or check them out and read it president museveni inspected a guard of honor mounted by officers from different security forces during the 41st, um, uh, it's it's actually a celebration at uh, Boma Grounds, um, Maluku, in Mali District yesterday. And that's the picture there. Museveni, like I said, um, Oluchi, he's always at the front page doing one thing or the other. And I'm not wrong. We, we're seeing this again on a Monday morning. So you have that. You could also take a look at the top. Present lifts, uh, Boda Boda Curfew, pages 4 to 5. Hmm. Now let's look at another one on the right. Um, Changulani. Changulani speaks out on talks with Museveni. Full story, page 10. Don't forget he has been silenced for a long while uh, despite all that took place that happened uh, during the elections. And now you have an exclusive in the new vision. Make sure you go read it. If you're looking for jobs, six pages of jobs right there in the front page. And you can find it inside you can start seeking for jobs for all Ugandans who are looking for one. First Lady urges MPs to allocate more funds to education sector. That's another story to look out for. And I'll take one more, just one more. First Sugar Refinery Commission, Sugar Plant. This is way to go for Uganda and kudos to them as well. Oluchi, let me take one more again. Tycoon arrested, hunt for God on septic tank murder. We, right. we took this story last mm. week and now there's an update, update as well. A tycoon has been arrested and there's a hunt for God, the God. So many are pointing fingers that he should have known something about it. So that's all we can take on the front page of a new vision. It makes you wonder why the God is on the run. But mm. let's move on to Zimbabwe now, shall we? Let's go to Newsday in Zimbabwe now on page 12, page 12 here. Top female visual artist to represent Zimbabwe at Italian exhibition. Well, that's a good one for the country. Mm -hmm. Well, the economy will be moving forward. And this major story here is also going to be one of the stories we're taking this morning. Headmasters join teachers strike. Now, today should be the first day of the term in Zimbabwe. But you know what? You can see this picture here. Back to school. High school pupils bought a bus at an open space next to Harare Magistrate Court just yesterday. This is for the people or the pupils 
who are going to the boarding facility. And right now, the parents are seriously complaining about the high cost of tuition in the country. But you can get more details from Newsday in Zimbabwe. Headmasters join teachers' strike. Mm.